All right. Uh, welcome to another episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank, and uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, we're going to be making this episode about recent online uh, rumors and articles that have surfaced about uh, The Undertaker being photographed. And uh, we, these, these, these photographs have now become uh, famous now. The only two uh, we see uh, these mysterious, uh, ominous photographs of the Undertaker uh, every now and then online, and uh, they start causing rumors. Oh, he's coming back! Uh, he's every before he actually does return. We always uh, see a picture leaked of him. He always looks gray, and and then he comes back, and he looks like the same old Undertaker, but. Uh, he hasn't been, uh, the last time he was uh, in the ring was at WrestleMania of this year in his uh, match against Shane McMahon. And uh, the last time he was online, uh, or f there was a photo of him online, was actually with Shane McMahon. Uh, they were both photographed at a bar. And that uh, started uh, fueling the, the flames He's coming back. He's not coming back because for a while it was reported that uh, The Undertaker was uh, upset with Vince McMahon. He wasn't even taking his calls. And uh, it's, 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 there's always speculations, and, uh, with, especially with The Undertaker. It's always uh, very mysterious. He's a very private person, and uh, not much is ever revealed about him. But uh, if, if you've been online, uh, you can Google... Uh, uh, Undertaker using crutches, and uh, there was order. Uh, people were sad when they saw this. He, he uh, he's in a store. It looks like a convenience store, and uh, he's taking a photo with a fan, and he has uh, crutches. And uh, people are sad. They're like, "Oh, it's so sad to see him uh, walking like that." His health. What does this mean for his career? Uh, and then you have uh, some fans. <laughs> And I'm not making this up. And I'll, I'll even read you from, 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 from an online quote of a fan. He says, the crutches weren't his. They were his wife's. The crutches were extenders, so he just took a photo with it, with it so his wife won't feel so bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. If you go and look at uh, the photo, he is with uh, – he the one, of the one of the two photos is with the blonde woman. And uh, she does have a, a, a cast on her, uh, on her uh, right leg. And uh, when I first saw this, I said, oh, wow, maybe he's right. But no, I mean, oh, my God. I, and I always have to say this. Listen, The Undertaker, he is in, he, he suffers in pain. He's a... He's, uh, He's physically he, he has ailments, and uh, first of all, if you look, go look at the at the photo after this video. The the woman is obviously she has an apron and she's obviously a store employee, and just because she's wearing a cast doesn't mean they're her crutches. I mean, I could I could see maybe the, the Undertaker. Uh, playing a, a, a goof or tro trolling the fans. But, uh, hello, if you go and look closely underneath his armpit where the, where the crutches are, the crutches are, are, are almost to bigger than the, the woman. <laughs> I mean, seriously, come on. Is it is it gotten to that point where uh, fans just... And I, I always I keep saying it. Uh, some WWE fans just live in a in a alternate reality. They they just keep making uh, always excuses and uh, they always have these reasons and uh, defend. It's like they see reality in a different way. I mean, if you scroll, if you go and look at some of these uh, articles online, then there's a second photograph. 
but he's outside now. The Undertaker's outside in the parking lot, and he's uh taking a, fo- a, f- a photo with a, uh, a different fan, a male fan, and uh, you could clearly see in the background to, he, he placed his crutches, uh, this crutches in uh, the Undertaker's uh, hearse. I mean, uh, his van. Uh, so obviously they're his, and it's not his wife because the woman in the picture is a store employee, and you can see that because she's wearing an apron. And again, the crutches are probably o- o- over five feet uh, long. They can only be used by a, a very large human being. In this case, the Undertaker. But uh, so now that we put this uh, rumor to bed, uh, whether they're his crutches or not, they are. What does this mean for his future? Well, his future has been up in the air for the last five, six years. He, uh, we know he's basically primarily only uh, performed at WrestleMania. And uh, is it due to his health? Yeah, probably. He's going to be, he's 51. He's, he's been in the business 25 years. He's beat up. It happens. Yeah, wrestling may be uh, scripted. It may be simulated uh, combat, but the bumps are real. You look at Hulk Hogan. He had back surgeries, uh, hip replacements. The, it's, it takes its toll when you've been in the, uh, doing it for so long. And of course, with age, nobody beats father time in any sport or physical uh, activity that you, that you do. So w- what does this mean for his future? Is he going to come back? Is he going to retire? Who knows? He takes it day by day. He, I don't think he knows... Uh, the Undertaker knows himself. He he sees how he feels leading up to WrestleMania. I mean, so far he's he's uh he hasn't missed one yet. You know, and still people are still uh there's a lot of fans and wrestlers and people in the business who still are upset that he uh the streak was ended. But, I mean, listen, whether uh, I agree with it or not, I mean, I don't know. It, it's, of course, as a fan, if you're an uh, Undertaker fan, you want uh, you want it to be undefeated. It adds to, to his mystique. But, I mean, is it because, I mean, uh, yeah, he, they, a lot of people, fans say he deserved to be undefeated at WrestleMania, retire undefeated at WrestleMania, but... Does, does that one loss after 21 straight uh, matches at WrestleMania take away from his legend or his career or his accomplishments? No. And of course, let's not forget, he was scripted to win 21 straight by Vince McMahon, who these same fans spew vitriol at for uh, deciding to end the streak finally. I mean, uh, we could talk about that. It's it's uh, it was it was the decision or suggestion of Vince McMahon the day of the show. I mean, he probably thought about it, and uh, the Undertaker agreed, and uh, the and uh, and the Undertaker agreed that uh, it would be Brock Lesnar to end the streak. And people have hated Brock Lesnar for for being the one to end the streak, but who who, who what? better or believable uh, performer out there than to be the one to break the streak or to end the streak. Brock Lesnar, I mean, uh, people say, oh, uh, maybe a younger guy, a younger talent, uh, upper comic star should have been the one to uh, break the streak. That would have made him a, a, a megastar. Yeah, but who's to say that he's gonna be uh, become a me- mega star and stay a mega and, and, and remain a mega star for years to come. I mean, uh, let's just take Roman Reigns. 
let's say he would have been the one to break it. Okay, he would have been a he would have become a major star. He, I guess, you could say he is a major star now. But well, when we look back ten years from now, are we going to say, oh yeah, Roman Reigns? He was a, a legend, and he was one of the all time greats, and he actually broke. He was the one who broke the other take streak. No, you can't say that. Could we say that about Brock Lesnar? Yeah, we're going to say that about Brock Lesnar ten years from now, twenty years from now, thirty years from now. Brock Lesnar, like him or not. Hate him or love him, he is legit. He, he he's a, a former uh, UFC heavyweight champion, <laughs> and we all know uh, how hard that is now. Now that we saw uh, last month, we saw CM Punk get demolished with uh, in less than uh, two minutes against a rookie fighter. Whereas Brock went in there and uh, beat up, uh, beat, beat up all-time legends of uh, MMA and combat uh, co uh, combat sports. You s now we see how ridiculous and amazing that feat was that Brock Lesnar stepped in, jumped in uh, UFC, and actually won the the UFC heavyweight championship. That's incredible. Where we saw CM Punk, he went in there against the rookie, Mickey Gall, who was just 2-0 and oh, and got the hell, hell beat, beat out of him. That's not taking away anything from CM Punk. That just shows you how difficult it is in the octagon. It's competitive. But uh, getting back to The Undertaker and the streak... Listen, I mean, I always say you have to look at it from The Undertaker's point of view. He's in pain. Maybe he's he's tired of the business. He's had enough. But every year when WrestleMania comes looming closer and the, and the expected call from Vince comes and that big payday that Vince has – waiting for The Undertaker to, to, to perform one more night of magic at WrestleMania at the big show. It's very tempting. I mean, you could say, when is enough enough if you have money? I mean, who's, who's to say? You don't know people. You don't know Mark uh, Calloway, The Undertaker's uh, personal business. Where, if he gets a million dollars, a million and a half dollars, to perform for one night, for, for one match, a year. I mean, that, that's tempting. All he has to do is is train hard, and which is not easy, and, and perform for one night, and then he could go and and relax. It's tempting on his on his part, and also he has the pressure of performing for his fans for the for the. WWE fans and his fans, they expect him to to be there, and it, it, the streak became so big, it because it, it it almost became uh the main of it started becoming the main focus of WrestleMania. At times, at years, it was. So there was a lot of pressure uh, on everybody on WWE. On the Undertaker, on the Undertaker's opponent for WrestleMania, there's a lot. There was a lot of pressure to perform and and, and uh, have the have have a great match. And if we look at the the Undertaker's recent matches at WrestleMania against Bray Wyatt, which was the year after the streak ended, eh, eh. Then last uh, this year against Shane McMahon, eh? I mean, really? If we, I mean, you want to blame uh, blame it because it was Shane McMahon, I uh, suppose like non wrestler, uh, non regular wrestler. I don't know. If you go back and look at those matches, the Undertaker looks old, and that's not a knock against him. That's you. It's it, nobody has ever beaten. Father Time or Mother Nature. So, 
What this means is, who knows? But also, and not too many people know, back in 2009, The Undertaker had hip surgery. Uh, if you recall uh, the angle when Kane uh, attacked The Undertaker and he kept saying uh, The Undertaker is in a vegetative state, He's not responsive. Well, that was just a storyline written so The Undertaker could uh, take a leave of absence and have a hip surgery. Now, some of uh, uh, websites reported it that it was minor surgery. Some have speculated, uh, some insiders, I I've heard on a shoot interview that he, uh, The Undertaker actually in 2009 had hip replacement surgery. So that's a major surgery. And uh, you, you can perform on it i mean it's not recommended but even if it's one uh match a year it doesn't last too long and uh, after five six seven eight years you got you you have to, you need uh to have it uh to have it replaced again i'm not saying he did get hip replacement we don't know and we we shouldn't know we don't need to know but those are the those are the rumors so yeah he's walking around in, cr in crutches he probably he probably did get a procedure done. Who knows? Maybe he hurt himself. I don't know. Nobody knows. It's all speculation. But uh, I just wanted to 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 make this video and uh, and uh, to answer these the fans saying that oh they weren't his crutches and they were the his wife's crutches. Oh my god, it's total baloney. But anyway, I I think we. Uh, analyze this enough if you're watching thank you as always i hope you enjoy if and if you're watching and you're not a subscriber please subscribe and i'll be making uh more videos with uh much in-depth information and uh, analysis as you could possibly get all right thank you and good night